Who? No. No problem. Was that him? Did we get the showcase? That was the wrong number. Please is not going to call. The call. Are you sure? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Ring, damn it. He said he'd call at 2.30. It's only 2.35. Relax. I don't think we're ready yet. I know I'm ready. Will you guys chill out? We'll get it. We're not going to get it. What are we going to play? What am I going to wear? We're not going to get it. Johnny, pick up the phone. Johnny, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. I can't get too anxious. It ruins my negotiating power. Oh my Will you pick it up? Hello? Yeah, is this Johnny Camden of the band um, Catnip? <laughs> yeah, Catwalk. Yeah, whatever. Look, I listened to your tape. Your band ain't quite there yet. You get any new stuff, give me a call. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. Bye. We didn't get it, did we? Saturday night at 9 o'clock! Yeah! 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 I, I knew it, I knew we'd get it. <laughs> what? what am I gonna wear? I gotta hand it to you, man. Do you know what you're doing? Uh -huh. <laughs> this is too cool. We've got to sell it. Yeah, yeah, I heard about this great club that's opening downtown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think we should practice tonight. Hey. Oh, practice, practice, practice. Why don't you just loosen up? Hey, don't diss him. The man's on a mission. <laughs> yeah, and besides, it's our first gig. Oh, come on, John. We can practice any day of the week. Whatever. But we're here tomorrow night. You got that? Okay, I'll sure. Getting ready even more than I like going out. Me too. There's nothing like those first few minutes after you've finished everything and you look absolutely perfect. Oh, wow, where'd you get that? Good God, Reese. Must have cost a fortune. You know, but no, I never look at the price tags. In fact, I never take them off. I just wear it a couple of times and take it back the next week and ask for my money back. No way. Daisy, every actress does it. How do you think they can afford to look so good before they make it? Sierra, you've only got a commercial audition that doesn't make you an actress. A caterpillar isn't a butterfly either, but give it time, and that's just what it becomes. Look, I listened to your tape. Your band doesn't quite cut it yet. I'm gonna get this. Hi, my name is Sierra. I'm here for the audition.
like it's the end of the world if you don't get the gig. I mean, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, easy, go right. Not left, right. I was going right. That was your right, you man. You know what's fixing this motor's gonna set us back. Look, are you listening to me? Yeah! I just don't see why you want to play that dive anyway. I'm not a dive. Besides, that's my job. Jobs pay money. Come on, put it in. Hold it. That's just charity for some club owner. Well, you know what? It's about getting this band started. Don't you just get that? What do you want from me? I tell you to do something you don't listen anyway. Give me a break, huh? Then I'll tell you what I always tell you. You got yourself into this position. You deal with it. You take care of your own business. Because nobody's going to do it for you. Whatever you start, you gotta finish. with him all day. So I just want you to tell him, okay? I want to book his band, the Screaming Mimis. Yeah, whatever. For my showcase this Saturday. We're closed. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, Johnny Camden. You call me about the showcase? I was hoping you changed your mind. I'm with Catwalk. Catwalk? Oh, yeah, you know Katner? Oh, well, yeah. Listen, sorry you didn't make the cut. Maybe next time, huh? Look, I was hoping you could change your mind. Careful with us. Let me think about it. No. Look, that tape I gave you, it wasn't even done in a real recording studio. Well, there's a solution to your problem, huh? You want to hear us play live? Make a new tape. Look, if you could just give us a chance. Look, I'd like to help you. I really would. Yeah, no, but the schedule's set. We have an understanding. OK. But if any band drops out, just keep us in mind, OK? Mm-hmm. Catnip. It's on the tip of my tongue. Great. Cool. Thanks. Yo, B, what you doing? I'm just finishing this thing, hang on a sec. Well, let's check it out. For a chance like this. That's great. So I figure I'll just wear that little lace number. And Come on, let's roll. And with the netting in it, oh, it'll be great. Johnny, can't you see I'm on the phone? I want to practice. I'm not running a babysitting service. Relax, Johnny. We're all working for the same thing. Nobody's working at anything. Don't you realize what's at stake? Hey, we all want to play this gig. <laughs> really? That's great. When? Hello? You ready? Yeah, that's real funny, Johnny. By the way, that was your little sister, and she wanted to talk to you. Yo, reading what you got the stage at the palace, or what? I already went. Now, we've got five days to get these tunes down, so I say we practice every night until the gig, all right? Johnny, you're making this sound like some prison sentence. Excuse me, I thought we were practicing. We're here to practice. Just loosen up some, that's all. Look, this gig is really important. Well, thanks for clearing that up for us. I still can't believe you bought us. As bad as that tape sounded. 
Do you like the clear or the red? Sierra, the world doesn't stop spinning just because you're on it, okay? So get with us. And nobody takes on anything that's gonna mess with practice. You got that? Can I just ask one question? Go ahead. What's the bathroom procedure? Do I raise my hand or what? You're great. Isn't she great? She's got the voice. She's got the look. Yes. You're absolutely perfect. What size are you? I'm a six. Mm. That's good. Wow. She's got the perfect body, don't you think? So does this mean that yeah. I get the... Yeah, you got the job. I'm going to want you back tonight at 7 o'clock for a wardrobe fitting. 7 o'clock tonight? I thought you told me we hired an actress. Now, Catwalk has become so popular so quickly. What would you say with the big break, so to speak? Actually, Sid, that's a funny story. Our leader, Johnny, lied to a club owner. <laughs> it was the most incredible strategy that turned out better than anybody could have ever dreamed of. The record deal came right away. And pretty soon, concert crowds were just too big to count. Yeah, and the money just started to roll in. Homeboy took us to the top. <laughs> And he's in the best singer, songwriter, arranger, leader that anybody could have asked for. I don't know, it sounds like you're the man, dude. So what do you got to say? Johnny? 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 Johnny, you gonna bring me that wrench or not? No, it's not your color. Mm, it's not for me, Bonehead. It's for you, for the performance. Me? No way. Not my style. Besides, I don't have any money for a new dress anyways. It's okay. You can just pay me back when you got the cash. Johnny, I don't want people listening to my music. But it'll look great on. Then you wear it. It's about a show, not about how much I show. No, it's about a look. I got dresses for Daisy and Sierra, too. Come on, you look hot. Come on. This rag of a dress to my face doesn't listen to a word I've said. And then bolts. I'd like to see how he would feel wearing almost nothing on stage. It's a big deal. You've got a terrific body. You look great. This isn't about my body. This is about a band, and we play music. And since when did Johnny become Catwalk's fashion coordinator? It's just old-fashioned sexism. Can I have a bite of that? I'm sure you're not going to finish it. I can't believe that after all our rehearsing, it's come down to mini skirts and cleavage. He'd probably be happy if we didn't wear anything at all. I know I would. Screw you. Hey, all I'm saying is, don't make such a big thing out of this. <laughs> Being female must be brutal. You guys never get so hung up on clothes. No way. No, not that night. No way. Let me guess. You guys don't like the jackets, huh? <sighs> Problem is, can't walk in them, much less dance in them. Johnny, we look like hip-hop undertakers. No, we look like hip-hopster takers. I mean, check it out. <laughs> I could just get a bigger size. I don't want to wear it at all. Leave that alone. Did you hear me? Hello? It's for you. 
And lighten up, huh? Hello. I would not be caught dead in that stuff. Nobody dropped dead. Hey, it's about a look. I don't see what the problem is. You've got a great body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I understand. What's up? You look like somebody just stole your puppy. Nothing's up. Let's go. Well, you were the one on the phone. Well, let's start with superstition, and then your mama wears army boots. What about my song? We'll do your song later. Johnny, what are you doing like this, man? You know how important that song is to me. Where's Sierra? What do you think? Look, Johnny, you knew Sierra had a fitting to go to. So pick up her vocal. It's Sierra's solo, not mine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I should have called, but I couldn't get to a phone. Well, what's the matter now? I said I was sorry. You're a little late, wouldn't you say? Oh, Johnny, don't start. Like someone once said, the world don't stop spinning when I'm not around. I told you not to take on anything else before this jam. Johnny, this commercial is gonna pay some bills, okay? The showcase won't. It's as simple as that. Well, maybe that's not good enough. Maybe we ought to cool down a sec. Mary, stay out of this. You know? I'm getting tired of you, little Fisher boy, telling me what to do. Well, then just show up on time. Oh, and who elected you king? Who ever elected you queen? You've been smelling those tugboat fumes too long. If you don't like what I'm doing here, then leave. Come again? I don't know what makes you think you can just blow us off whenever you feel like it. Relax, Johnny. She was just a little late. No, no, it's not about that. It's about your attitude. It's about what it takes to make a successful band, but you don't want that bad enough, do you, Sierra? Would you chill out, man? You don't know what you're saying. No, you just want what's best for Sierra, huh? But we can do fine without you. I don't need this verbal abuse anyway. I'm out of here. Come on, Sierra, he doesn't mean it. No, forget it. If that's what that little bastard wants, and that's what he's going to give. Regrets? I've had a few. Johnny should have never said what he said. not your song my way. What Mary's saying is we're catwalk, not Johnny Camden and catwalk. Is this about the dresses? We're not going to wear the dresses. Look, I think we decided on that. No, Johnny, you decided on that. Nobody else. You've been making every decision lately, especially the one about Sierra. What are you saying? It's pretty simple. Either she's back in the band 
or we're out. I mean, we all got this gig together. So either we all play it together, or none of us play it. <laughs> you all got this gig? Yes, all of us. Sorry, we didn't get this gig. <sighs> what are you talking about? When Gleason called me, he told me we didn't get the gig. But I saw the looks in your eyes, so I lied. Why are you treating us like children? Because I didn't know how you'd react. Johnny, I thought we could trust each other. <laughs> we can. It's just that... Tell us the truth. You weren't ready for it. So go ahead. Blame me for everything. All I tried to do was keep this band together. How? By tearing it apart? By doing what I thought was right. Well, you were wrong. So go ahead. Grab Sierra, chuck the dresses. I'm out of here. Come on, Johnny, hold up. Drop it, Mary. I'm not worth it. You gotta press harder! If you ask me, it's all for the best. Yeah, I guess. And better to find out now than six months from now. That way you don't have to waste any time. That's the whole problem with you musicians. Your heads get so full of garbage, it blocks out your ears. Here, let me show you how to use that right. Look, I've got it, all right? Just stop telling me what to do. Well, that ain't no way to use a grinder. So let me figure it out for myself, okay? You stop talking to me like that. Who's got the most experience here, huh? No wonder you quit. Can't work with nobody. Look, what do you want? I'm out of the band. Just get off my back. Well, we're back with my man, Johnny Camden, and I'm gonna try something that I don't normally do. Yeah, like, uh, shutting up. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> they giving you the same with your former lead singer. No, I don't... Oh, come on, come on. Look, if Sonny can sing with Cher, sure you can sing with Sierra. No, really. How about it? Steal your audience. Come on, how about it? Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, Absolutely hate him. I know what you mean. There's actually a method to his madness. <sighs> yeah, look at me. Mary, you look beautiful. I know. Just promise you never tell anybody. But he was right. <sighs> and sometimes you just look in the mirror and you hate what you see. I know the feeling. I've been there myself a few times. <laughs> I don't know, just... I wanted this band to happen so bad. You know, and Gleason wouldn't give us the gig. It just doesn't make any sense. Does anything have to make sense? I don't know, maybe it doesn't. I just got kind of crazy, I guess. <laughs> we tried to tell you. You just wouldn't listen. So, you think they'll want us back? I doubt it. I'm just kidding, I know. All right. You all know that I'm not the best at apologizing or admitting that I'm wrong. And maybe I got carried away once. Okay, so I got carried away a lot. But everything I did, I did for the band. Like your... Oh. Well, forget it. But anyways, look, I've been a jerk and I had no right to push you around. And if you want me back, I'd really like to be in the band. You can stop me at any time because I would really miss playing with you boneheads. Come on, you're killing me here. Johnny, you've only been gone 12 hours, but welcome back. You too, Sierra. Well, yo, man, I think we all agree. We need some rules. Like, from now on, we all share in making band decisions? OK, 
Okay, got it. I mean, I should never have gone to see Gleason without asking you guys. I mean, you really never could have said no to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with the band Catwalk. Pleased to meet you. If you'll just give us 10 minutes. Uh, we'd like to play one song for Look, you. Look, I'd love to, but I'm on a pretty tight schedule today. Well, I really don't think that five minutes would hurt. Now, would it, boss? Hello? Listen, I got a little problem down here. What? No, I'm telling you that. Ah, forget it. Chicago, the Bronx, and Queens, and the Border City. The music's pretty, but the beat is tough, and the streets are rough. We need music. Doesn't matter what you wear, just as long as you are there. Come on, every time, grab a girl. Everywhere around the world, they'll be dancing. Dancing, dance the street, moving your feet, the funk of the beat, the rhythm. It's all so sweet, oh yes. What the life will treat you with a slide. It's the heat with people. Dancing you will make sure you will make it big. Think of a deep, you should remember. Don't leave the beat. Jamming, jamming the street, cause Atlas won't cheat the beat. So greet the beat and move your feet. Cause catwalks dance in the street. Just greet the beat and move your feet. Cause catwalks in the street. Dancing in the street. Yes, folks, Columbus discovered America, and Ed Sullivan discovered the Beatles. So don't forget where you saw Catwalk first. Good night. Peace. <laughs>